Some say age is nothing but a number. Others say it's more of a state of mind. On today's case, Ms. Anderson says her younger fiance is a spiteful cheater whose immature behavior is ruining their chance at having a long-lasting, loving relationship. She says Ms. Mitchell's lack of self-awareness is now even dividing her family. Will Ms. Anderson see the value of this relationship? Or will her behavior finally push Ms. Mitchell out of her life for good? Let's hear their case. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Starr presiding. Your Honor, Your Honor, this is the case of Anderson versus Mitchell. Thank you very much. Ms. Anderson, you're here and say you're ready to end your five-year relationship with your fiancé because, frankly, you're fed up with her immature behavior, gambling addiction, and her wandering eye. Yes, Your Honor. And, Ms. Mitchell, you're here, you say, to save this relationship and hope that coming to divorce court can help the two of you find a resolution to your ongoing issues. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, so let's just get to the bottom of this. You all have been together for five years and you say you've been engaged for one year. There are children that are a part of this relationship. Let's see if it's worth actually saving. Let's start with why you say she's so immature, uh, Ms. Anderson. She doesn't know how to manage money. Hmm. She doesn't know how to talk to the kids. Whenever she does something wrong and I bring it to her attention, she cries like a child. You know, but Ms. Anderson, you knew she had a significant age difference because you all have been together. You're 30 years old and Ms. Mitchell's 23 years old. You've been together for five years. So you met her when she was a teenager for all practical purposes. Absolutely. But I feel like she tricked me because when I met her, she was very mature. She took care of home. She took care of her entire family. She even took care of me in the beginning. Interesting that you say that. Ms. Mitchell, what has happened? What's changed? The way she put things, she, she just aggressive with everything. Blunt, up front, not childish. Yeah, basically. Yeah. We acknowledge that there's an age difference, but why do you say she's immature? Give me some examples of how that's impacted okay. on your relationship. She stole my car. I got her until, and then I had my own car so that we both can have a vehicle. Mm -hmm. We got into an argument. We swapped cars. She wanted her car back, the car that I got her, I came back to the house and I brought her car back and I left mine. So now both cars are at the house. I left and went to the nail salon to get my nails done and I got a phone call from a family member that my car was stolen by Tatiana. As I was coming out of the nail salon, I saw my car riding past me with not her driving, another female driving my car. So I went and I went behind the car. I chased it. And I ended up in jail for two days because she flagged the police down. After I got, like, it was a whole altercation. So I, wait a minute, I'm, I'm curious. You chased after your own my car... My own vehicle. ...that you have a registration and the insurance In my name. Car. And, Miss Mitchell, you called the police? No, I didn't call the police. The police was, like, riding past. And the people that was driving the car that was with me flagged them down. Why would they flag down the police when they are actually in a car that doesn't belong to them? Because Kentayan ran into the back of the, their rental car. So that's what made the, her chase them, I guess. I don't know. It was like 11 females, three cars deep. How she convinced 11 females to come and steal my car? And we, we engaged. Uh, 11? I didn't steal the car. The car was already, like, it was my rental. So I told I'm not her... even sure how this all came about, mm -hmm. but I know it sounds ignorant, okay? Mm -hmm. So now, Ms. Anderson, you said there are other examples of her, her immaturity. Yeah. We were at work. Yeah, you all used to work at the same job, right? Yes, mm -hmm. at a, a... It's like a picking and packing place. Okay. Just a yeah. warehouse, very easy job, easy money. Mm -hmm. On this particular day, I didn't want to pick and pack with her because she... We were only at work because she spent all of the money on gambling. We had an argument about the money. So let me guess, that impacted on whether or not y'all continued to have a job. I asked her to work by herself. She got mad because I told her to work on her own cart and fought, argued with me loudly in front of everybody. The boss told us we had to leave. Of course the boss the told night. you that. 
but then we didn't have a job anymore. Of course, but... And I begged her not to argue with me, not to fight with me at work, and she didn't want to hear that. Okay, so now, Miss Mitchell, I'm back to you again. What happened? I talk out of anger, so I get loud, I get frustrated. When I get angry, I cry. When we was at work, I'm telling her, I'm like, how are you mad at me because I'm sitting here trying to help you with something that you was asking about getting help with? And she got mad, and that's how we started arguing about the situation because she didn't... I guess she didn't want but, my help. But why are y'all arguing at work? I don't know. I don't know. It's immature. You don't fight at work. I mean, oh. honestly, arguing for argue's sake is ridiculous. You accused her of being a gambling addict. What is that uh, about? It was around Christmas time. And I went um, to see my cousin, and when I left, we had about $6,000 saved for Christmas, just for the kids' Christmas right. gifts. And my daughter's birthday is December 21st, and her daughter's birthday is December 30th. So we have... You all had a lot of stuff to do around yeah, the yeah. holiday. We have six Christmases six, and six, two birthdays. Yes. Yeah. That $6,000 is barely enough. Mm-hmm. But it's a nice little it's saving. A, it's a nice little saving. So what happened? When I got back, it wasn't $6,000 anymore. Why? It was gone. Okay, tag your it, Miss Mitchell. What happened to the money? I gambled it. I play games on my phone. I told her, I, I don't know, I used it. And then she found out when she went on my cash app that she's seen all of the transactions from me spending all the money on the game. Now, you know what I'm about to ask. Why? Yeah. Why would you do something like that when you knew? I don't know, because it was like, at, at times I did win, you know what I mean? Like, I, sometimes I did hit big, so I was just trying to get more money because not only that, See, we spent a lot of money prior to it because the situation, like... What situation? The, the kid's party, like, the, the oldest one. I know, but here, here's my question. How'd you get in debt four grand? I was just playing, kept just playing it. Just kept doing it over and we over. We spent only $700 on my daughter's birthday. So you spent... And she spent $4,000 on her... $4,000 on some online games? Not just online, I was also at the casino that night as well. Okay, so Miss Mitchell, you don't value money the way Miss Anderson all. does. She doesn't know how to handle money. No, that's not about not knowing how to handle. It's don't care, cause it's like, eh, it's not my money. I don't care. Well, her money. She it does. was my she money. She has a problem. I have to monitor her money when she gets money. Okay, but Miss Anderson, I thought you said you y'all had four children between you. We have five. five. We I have, have five. She, she has, has five. One, so we have six, six all together. So you have six children between you. Yeah. But if you have to monitor her money, it sounds like you have seven. So now we Absolutely. have another child in the I house. I feel like I have another child in the house. You're not into men, but you would cheat with a man that happens See, to be when her ex-man. I only did it to be spiteful. I tried to, like, make her not want him anymore. Maybe if I had did it with him, she probably didn't want him no more, but... But it don't make sense because she lied about it. There's gambling. I hear there's irresponsibility. I hear that they're, like I call them, ghetto shenanigans mm -hmm. she with cheat, the whole car situation. She lie. I don't now cheat. you say she's cheating. I don't cheat. She's a cheater and a liar. I don't cheat. I lie. I do. I ain't gonna lie. I do lie. Wait, you ain't gonna lie? You lie? Yep. Oh, okay. I lie. You say she cheats, she says she lies. Let me hear this. She lies and cheats. Okay. She cheated on me with my ex-boyfriend. Wait a minute. I thought you all were in a relationship. Is it a bi relationship now? This is... No. She don't like men. I'm not into men, but I do communicate, you know what I mean? Like, so wait a minute, don't know what Ms. Mitchell, I want to I understand this. Ms. Anderson accused you of sleeping with her ex-boyfriend. Yes. Mm -hmm. You're talking about a man. You're not into men, but you would cheat with a man that happens See, to be when her ex-man. When I cheated with her, ex with her man, I thought maybe if I do something, like, to make her upset, like, make her feel hurt or something. I only did it to be spiteful, you know what I mean? Like, I tried to, like, make her not want him anymore, if that make any sense. Like, maybe if I had did it with him, she probably didn't want him no more, but... But it don't work. make sense because she lied about it. That don't even make sense. But, Miss Mitchell, help me to understand why you think that that is a mature way of handling disappointment or anger or... Because she I wanted to... She cheated on me with my ex for six days. When I went to jail for six days, it's because she was at home... You went crying, to... Crying, 
You went to jail when home, you got I was arrested in New Jersey, correct? Not when you were No, was I wasn't. Me. I was arrested in Pennsylvania you on my way to you. Was you I was, not? You was on your way to Jersey. I was on my way to you. I got arrested in Pennsylvania. You remember you had to come and get my car and my boyfriend that you left with? You was on and your... stay with. I feel I like I'm watching tennis. Stay with. You lying. What is going on in y'all's family that this one keeps ending up in jail? How she keep ending up in jail, correct? Yes. So who's the aggressive one? Here. Did you just really do that? Who's the aggressive you one? You are a... Uh, ooh. Miss Mitchell... Yeah, I don't want to be with her. I'm good. You all have brought a witness. How long were you and Miss Anderson in a relationship? Recently, about a year and some change. I'm into polygamy. OK. She's not. Mr. Evans, did you sleep with Miss Mitchell? Yes, ma'am. You want me to be OK with who you choose, but you want a polygamous relationship. How does that work? We in the middle of a high ghetto mess. Is this how y'all want to live your life? If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Missed a show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. I understand you all have brought a witness. Mr. Evans is here to help me put some perspective on this. Okay. Uh, Robert, can you please ask Mr. Evans to join us? Sure. He stole my car when I found out she had sex with him because he told me. Okay. Because he was upset at how she was acting. Mr. Odell Evans, welcome Thank to you. the court. You know Miss Anderson because you and she used to date, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Um, how long were you and Miss Anderson in a relationship? Uh, recently, about a year and some change. Some Just change. over a year, you all were in a relationship. Yeah. Y'all broke up. Yeah. And Miss Anderson and Miss Mitchell got together. Well, they had broke up when I had got back with her. OK. I bumped into her. Ah. And then, again, I'm assuming y'all broke Honor, up? Your Honor, can I say something? Yes, ma'am. I'm into polygamy. OK. She's not. OK. I told her that I was before we got into the relationship. She said she was OK with that, but clearly she's not. OK, so you were I maintaining... I never cheated on her. You were saying you were doing two relationships at the same time. I was time. doing two relationships. When me and her broke up, I was dating him, and I was crossing him, still messing with her, because she didn't want to mess with him, too. OK, I understand, no. Mr. Evans, that you and Miss Mitchell ultimately got together. Help me to understand what occurred. We got pulled over in Pennsylvania, coming from New Jersey, and she had me call her mother and her. And I got her and kept her. Like, Ms. Mitchell, like, I somehow convinced her to stay with me. And, After you know, I asked her not to. I didn't even know she asked her not because to. Because I told her that he would try to convince her not to stay, and she did it anyway. So, in other words, y'all got three many things going on, yeah. Robert. Yeah. So, I was right in the beginning. It's a hot ghetto mess. That's mm -hmm. where we are. We're in the middle of a hot ghetto mess. Is this how y'all want to live your life? Absolutely no. not. No. That's fine. So, Mr. Evans, just so that I'm clear, did you sleep with the defendant? Did you sleep with Ms. Mitchell? Yes, ma'am. And Miss Mitchell, you're not even in the men. No. So she said. She into men. Not more uh, than Mr. once. Mr. Evans said, no, she in the men. Not. More than men. once. If you sleep with a man more than once, I, I was in jail for six days. And I'm probably seven out of the six I was in jail, she had sex with him. No, 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 no. You three. hear this? No. What? No. Not even three. Oh, twice, two? Twice. Not even. Twice. Two times, twice. too many. You know what, Mr. Evans, do you want to have a relationship with Miss Anderson or Miss Mitchell or both or what's happening with you? I'm saying that was my lady. I, consi I, I would consider Ms. Uh, Ms. Anderson. Like, me and her, like, that's like, like she, uh, nah, that would never work. She too little. She too young, I mean. She's a little girl. But you were okay to hit it. Yeah, I was okay to hit it, though. He tried it, though. He tried to do a relationship with both of us. We, but we all he... tried. No, we all didn't try We anything. all tried to do a relationship, no. but it didn't work. Come to the time. You want me to be in a relationship with a, with a man that really can't provide for us at all? You want me to sit here and be okay with who you choose, but you want a polygamous relationship. How does that work? You just How does that work with someone that you're choosing? And oh, say, I didn't choose him. You if did. It, if it's a polygamous relationship, I could have I could have sworn we supposed to pick together, right? Did I force if, you if, in if, that? If, Mr. Evans, no, you or didn't. is that something you, you asked so for? Very much. You okay, so me. if you asked for it, don't Mr. tell Evans, me what I want you I'm to do. I'm not telling you. You, you really want to be in this? No. I didn't, I didn't think so. <laughs> like. I'm going to tell you what. 
Y'all all three deserve to be together because no. I don't know nobody else that want to be in the middle of this. I don't want to be I in don't the middle of this. Okay, so then I can help you solve that. Ms. Anderson, you came to court today because you say your fiancé is a liar, a cheater, and financially irresponsible. Ms. Mitchell, you came today because initially you said you wanted to try to right. fix it, but you admit to lying and cheating. This is so clear that this is never going to be a fulfilling right. relationship. It's very clear. I'm over it. I love her. Ms. Anderson, Ms. Mitchell is never going to be what you want her to be. She's a young woman right now. She is just feeling who she is. I make no judgment whatsoever. But at 23 years old, you're expecting a whole level of maturity that she does not have right now. She doesn't have maturity when it comes to finances. She doesn't have maturity when it comes to picking friends. She didn't even have maturity when it comes to her own sexuality. Well, she figured out she didn't have that level of maturity because she's not at that level of maturity. You picked her. What I'm saying to you is, is the partner that you picked is not at your level. Y'all are not at the same level. First of all, I don't want to be with somebody that I'm going to end up in jail with twice. I have one rule in my whole life that I have followed for 60 years. I ain't going to jail with you or for you, period. Let me be real clear about that. The first time you put me in a position that I could end up in jail is the last time you will see me. So the fact that you're even dealing with this on the regular tells me that you got a little something with you that wants the drama. And you, Miss Mitchell, you're not gonna get out of this by just being the young one in a relationship. Mm -hmm. At some point, you gotta grow up too. Right. Okay, and do you know what that means when you gotta grow up? You gotta take responsibility for your own money. You gotta make your own money. You gotta save your own money. Right. You gotta feed your own kids. Right. You gotta make sure you can get your own rental car. You've gotta do the things that a grown woman does. Miss Mitchell, you <laughs> seem very frustrated. Because right that's not, it's, it's, it's wrong. It's wrong that she's sitting here trying to say that I'm just disrespectful, don't know how to handle kids and all that because them kids is my kids. And that's why I you keep dealing with it. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, you I, saying this is I what you think I want and it's all about her time. Ms. What are you talking Miss Mitchell is talking. My goodness. This is what happens. She, she, she take her own things and, and just bash off and just go crazy. But once I do it, it's a problem. Once I try to return the favor, it's a problem. You all don't need to be together because you're not mature enough to even be by yourself. You need Ooh. to raise your own individual selves. Become whole human beings before you can even get into a relationship. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm not gonna attribute it all to age. You're just not in a position that you can bring a whole human being to a relationship. You need to work on who you are mm -hmm. as a person, as a person, so that you don't put up with, with behaviors that don't make you happy and you don't put up with behaviors that don't give you a voice. Mm -hmm. I have seen you right now get frustrated because it doesn't seem like you're getting your voice out. And you're frustrated because everything that she does does not make you happy. At some point, y'all gotta just cut and say, you know what, this don't work. It's okay. It don't work. Learn how to co-parent, because the children obviously have established a relationship with the two of you. But get out of each other's lives so that you can have lives. Oh, my Lord, they just made me tired. Hot mess. Hot mess. I could not convince the two of them that that is not normal behavior in a relationship. Right. Right. One does not go to jail multiple times mm -hmm. from multiple states. For who knows what reasons, just the craziest reasons too. I mean, nothing was substantial. And the only person who was having a good time was Mr. Yeah, <laughs> that's right, my man. Oh, Lord, uh, and they want to do a polygamous relationship? Yeah. They need to all be together because don't nobody else want them. No.